Hello friends, this is Ashirwad here. Uh, in this video, we are going to discuss some functions, some inbuilt functions which are stored in the math class. Now, math class is a predefined class which contains many functions uh, rel rel related to mathematics and you can use them uh, for your purpose. But in this video, we are going to concentrate mainly on uh, these uh, four functions which I have written. So let us uh, see one by one. The first function I'm going to explain is log. So how do you use log function? You actually have to declare a double type of variable. And in this variable, you're going to store the log value of uh, any any number. So for example, if I write math dot log, and inside the bracket 15 so it will give me the log value of 15 and let me actually print it on screen null comma D so when you run this program you will have the message showing the log value of the number 15 so this is how log function works the next function we are going to see is round function now obviously the round function will help you getting the rounded off value of any double type of uh, number you specify so again I'm going to use a double type of variable uh, D and in this variable I want to store a rounded of numbers so again I'll use the math class put a dot sign call the round function now as you can see it requires a double type of value inside the brackets and it gives you uh, the result in the form of a long value so you can uh, type any value like this 12 15.56 uh, and since it is going to be rounded off you, you should actually store it in long type of variable okay so let us print it on screen j option pane dot show message dialog null comma d and when you run this program you will have the value 16 displayed on screen as you can see now the technique uh, which it follows to round off any value is the same that we follow in day to day life that a uh, number with a decimal point and if the value after the point is exceeding 5 or equal to 5 we will consider it as 1 so it's the same thing that it applies and this is how it rounds off the number so this is round function the next function is sqrt this function is going to give you the square root value of any given number so let us first see how it looks when i call it math dot sqrt now as you can see in the intellisense window it also requires a double type of value and it returns a double type of value so to test this function i can declare a double type of variable to store the result the square root and inside the sqrt function let me write 36 now one thing to notice here is although if you see in uh, the intellisense window that it requires a double type of value inside the brackets right and here I am writing actually an integer type of variable so as you can see it shows no error this is because 36 is integer value and when you write an integer value here it is automatically converted into a double type uh, as what we call it uh, automatic type conversion 
and it happens because double is larger than integer okay uh, so int is automatically converted in into double so that's not a problem if you write an integer value here it will be automatically converted into double so we have got the square root value of 36 and we have stored it in uh, the variable d so let us print the value of d on screen now null comma d so when you run this program you should see the value 6 on screen 6.0 in fact which is the square root value of the number 36 so this is sqrt function the next function is pow which is actually power so you can calculate a to the power b by using this function so let us do it now i, I again uh, want to use the math class here let me write it math dot pow now in the intellisense window as you can see it requires two values two double type of values uh, but you can of course write integer values here as i told earlier they will be converted into double automatically and as a result of this function it gives you a double type of value so let us test this out let me write 2 comma 5 so when you write 2 comma 5 it will actually calculate 2 to the power 5 and it will store the result in the variable d which is 32 so when you print the value of uh, the variable d like this it will print the value 32.0 so this is how you can use math class in your programs the math class also contains many other functions like sine cos 10 log 10 and so on so you can explore those functions it's very easy to use and as per your requirement you can use it so that's it for this video i hope all the concepts uh, explained are clear to you do let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below thank you so much for watching do like and subscribe